family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 2 Let's Play here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. And by the way, if you haven't seen my second YouTube channel with different games, the name is Klaus Media, and the link is in the description. But today, guys, it is always a good day here on the Town Hall 2. Um, starting out, it's just epic. We talked about last time how we needed to prioritize upgrading this army camp, okay? Because without that upgrade, we're just simply going to struggle to continue to get loot out of the goblins. Now, you notice that this upgrade time is one full hour, so we're not going to be able to take advantage of this upgrade in the next episode, or in this episode, it'll have to be next episode. So today is going to be a little bit different uh, because we're going to a start a few upgrades and these are going to be the elixir collector. I'm going to upgrade that and then the gold mine. So there you go. Both 15 minute upgrades. And then now it's just all about getting, you know, a little bit more loot. I've got armies of barbarians because that just seems to be a little more effective. And we're going to go out and we're going to find some loot in the real world because obviously we can't take on the rest of these goblins. In fact, if you want to look, let's look at two smoking barrels because it says you have to be at least a town hall level four in order to take on this base. So let's just go look at it and see what they're dealing with. Um, interesting. It's actually not, it's actually not that bad. Um, because the cannons are on the outside. So let's just let's just try this, okay? Let's go one barbarian down, okay? And let's just that was just making sure there's no traps. And then right here, very good. Okay, and then let's go, uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there are a few more over there. There you go. So what this is gonna do is this is going to allow us to take out these defenses early, and then we can just kind of sit back, relax, and let our barbarians do the work, okay? Problem is gonna be this right here. Look at this. These barbarians are probably about to die. Yep. Oh! Wow, they did survive! Oh my goodness! We get more loot. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Okay, so we got loads of loot. This is a great thing. Hopefully we don't run into more traps because this this group of barbarians are all about to die. Uh, so it looks like we're clear. Very good. That was awesome. So once again, an example of why putting defenses on the outside is a bad idea, right? Uh, but that's awesome. So now we're going to have the loot. Once this is done, watch this. Watch the loot go up. 1585 to 3585. Very, very nice. So that is going to actually be a full loot grab and a three star on the goblin map. So that, that just shows you how important it is where you place your defenses. I'm going to take all that loot. And I'm going to look at what we have now. I've actually got 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What the world? Okay, so Elixir Collector level 3. It's one hour upgrade. For some reason, I thought I did the, the other one. Yeah, that one's the 15 minute upgrade. I accidentally did. So we upgraded uh, two of them to level 3 and two of them are still level 2. I accidentally upgraded one of the level 3s, so that's why it's a longer upgrade. It's okay. It's free loot either way. It's just going to mess up my plan a little bit for uh, for going forward. But that, that's okay. So I've got loads of elixir um, and actually loads of, uh, loads of gold as well. So that's actually really, really great. So do I have the gems to get a third builder? Because as of right now, I'm technically landlocked, right? I it's In 12 minutes, I could do another upgrade, start this army camp upgrade, and then go get more loot. That would be the ideal situation. But I don't have the third builder. I could spend five bucks, but again, I've already told you guys, this is a uh, basically a free-to-play series. So uh, what about, yeah, 500 gems. So how do I get free gems? How to get free gems in Clash of Clans, right? What a great title for this video. The free gems will come from all of these lovely achievements, which we've already touched on. But the number one achievement is League All-Star. Okay, check that out. Join the Legend League 250 gems. I'm sorry, not Legend League. Oh my goodness. I saw League and I saw I thought Legend. Uh, join the Crystal League and get 250 free gems. Now, the Crystal League's... Well, let me just back up a little bit, okay? Let me show you something. So check this out. This, These are the leagues. And as you attack players and as you win attacks, you gain trophies. You basically steal their trophies, not just their loot. You get the 400 trophies and bam, you're in bronze league. 800 trophies and bam, silver league. Gold, 1400. And then crystal is at 2000. Now, this is a little difficult to do up to a certain point in the game, but then it gets a lot easier. So we're going to obviously continue to progress our base so that we can push to that point. But right now, we're basically stuck at two builders. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to quit recording, probably go get a drink, rest a little bit, 
Uh, because I don't want to go raid. I'm actually at I'm basically max capacity elixir. And I don't want to waste the loot by going, filling up my storages, and then not getting anything else. So waiting until I have a builder available so I can upgrade something so that I can make room in my storage is the very best strategy that I could do right now. So, guys, I'll be right back once this gold mine is done. And we're going to go out and we're going to raid another person for the very first time in this Town Hall 2 Let's Play. Are you excited? I am too. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, five seconds to go before it's done. I literally sat here and waited, didn't gem anything. You could see because between scenes, my gem count did not change. But there you go. Um, it's done. We have a builder available. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to spend some gold as well um, and upgrade. How many, how many can I upgrade? I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. They're a thousand gold per wall. That's insanely expensive. I only had like 3,000 gold. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to swap these two. Come on. Work with me, game. There we go. Let's upgrade the let's upgrade the corners. Okay. I think that'd look cool. There you go. Nice. Spent a little bit of gold. Now let's spend some elixir. And uh, this is going to go into this army camp. And we're going to be increasing our army size by 50%. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Uh, but it's a full one hour upgrade, which means... This builder is going to be locked in for a little while. So let's do this, guys. 2.5k elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. Okay, so now, guys, it is time to go burn a little bit of our shield. Okay, I discussed the whole thing about the shields in the last episode. So uh, check it out if you didn't see that. But basically, we're going to go out. We're going to attack somebody else, steal some of their loot. We're not going to really worry too much about... Um, about the shield because I've still got plenty of shields. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what we got. I'm basically just bringing the uh, uh, Barbarians so finding a base like this is great. Where are the walls? This person literally has no walls I feel really bad for Haley right now, but you know what? I don't even know what's good amount of loot So let's search a few more times just to see that see this one has a lot less loot 355 that one last before at over a thousand this one has 250 ish so I'm thinking based on the only three, like based on seeing only three bases, now four, that if you find a base over a thousand gold or elixir at Town Hall 2, that's actually a pretty decent number. So, uh, ooh, 2,000 gold. Yes, perfect. Okay, so let's take this one out. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my finger on the archer tower and then my other finger and my thumb on the other two cannons. Okay, so this is going to be a full-fledged domination from the get-go and we're gonna take out the defenses to take 2600 gold in a single blow hopefully we're able to get through these defenses come on guys there we go archer tower is down cannon is down and cannon is down nice so now we just sit back relax and enjoy the show as we take all of their loot now this is different if you notice there's a clock at the top so that means we can't just like sit here and watch it get the job done we actually have a limited amount of time, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna get all the gold and It's good. So there you go. Uh, we're taking out somebody's we're taking out 2600 gold Which is a lot at this stage of the game and it only costs us three hours of our shield And even when our shield runs out, okay, even when people are able to attack us once they attack us one time then we gain another shield, and that shield lasts for however many hours, 12, 14, 16, depending on how badly they beat us. Like, for instance, this guy, he's about to get three stars, so he's going to gain, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, a 16-hour shield, where then nobody else can attack him for that entire time. So that, that's cool, you know, that's that's generous of the game to, to give you a break from losing all of your loot. So there we go, uh, Army Camp should be the final building, the little blonde barbarians running around getting it done. Well done, barbarians, well done. So there you go, guys. 2,600, and we've gained our very first trophies. We got 30 trophies, which is pretty sweet. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, how's my? Oh, I didn't have another army. Dang it! All right, well, let's let's train up another army. Shouldn't take too long. Looks like four minutes before I have a full army of barbarians. I do want to attack again, but I just realized I'm probably gonna max my gold if I do, and I don't want to go out. I don't want to waste my time or my armies, and then not gain all the gold that I'm supposed to. So this is kind of a good natural stopping point for me. Again, I've got both my builders busy and I am pretty much maxed out in w at least one of the resources that you have in the game, gold in this case. Uh, so pretty sweet guys. I mean, progress is abound. I I'm sad I accidentally upgraded this Elixir Collector. If not, then I would have probably done something else. Like I would have probably upgraded 
the Archer Tower or something with gold. Uh, but, you know, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, but it's okay. It's all good. We'll, we'll live past it. All we have to do is sit. We're going to wait for at least 40 minutes. I'll probably wait the full hour uh, before we move on and get anything else done and um, continue to own Clash of Clans. Ulysses is already level 5. is growing up so fast. So, so awesome. So guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 2 Let's Play. Making great progress. We're going to be Town Hall 3 before you know it. And um, then we'll be unlocking goblins, I believe. Because we have to do the giants still. We still need to upgrade the barracks to unlock the giants. And then I believe goblins is at level 3. Yes, once you go to level 3, the goblins join your group. You get to actually have turncoats. They give, they give up on their own faction and they join you. Or maybe they're mercenaries and you're paying them. I bet technically you're probably paying them since it costs you elixir to train armies. But you know what I mean. It's a good time. It's a good time. Clash of Clans is a load of fun even at the lower level. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And to join the hashtag Klaus family. Don't forget to ring the bell and join um, with notifications to be one of the first to see the new videos. Also, don't forget to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. And most importantly... Be sure that you're supporting a content creator under the Creator Boost. If you don't know what that is or where to find it, follow me. Uh, click the gears at the bottom right-hand side of the screen, hit More Settings, and scroll to the very bottom. If uh, you've already got a code there, then cool, then you've done it within the last seven days. If you haven't, then input code KLAUS if you want to support me or anybody else's. And again, remember that it disappears every seven days, so always double-check this before you make any in-game purchases. Guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.